Hello there ladies. Um, another video here. Um, I was in a um, swap at Life on the Scrap Beach hosted by Crystal Booth. It was the um, bottle cap swatch, swap. Swatch. Ha! Huh? Bottle cap swap. Um, and I was in the vintage and the steampunk group. And I'm going to show you what I came up with. We'll start with the vintage. And this is what I came up with for the vintage. Um, these are the caps. I put um, the caps on the tag with glue dots, but if you turn them real gently in circles like this and keep turning, those glue dots will come right up. Come on now. And then you can rub the glue dots the glue dot off, okay? I'm trying to show you how it works so you don't have to ruin your tag if you want to use the tag. And you just pull the glue dot uh, off. And obviously, being as I'm sitting here trying to do it, it's not going to work. I did it with s several others to test. And then the glue dot comes off and you can use the um, bottle cap wherever you want. The glue dots do come off. You ladies know that. And then you can use the um, tag. I always, I've been leaving the, um, not coloring in the tags because I, I think I like it if um, you guys can color them the colors you want. This is the back of the tag. Um, on it would be my information. You could just untie those. And then um, that's glue. It's not supposed to be there, but it'll come off. Um, and this is the front of the tag. And then this is one of the bottle caps I came up with. Here, let me come up. There we go. Um, little um, angels and um, on the cap I used alcohol ink I just I went really heavy on the alcohol ink to give it that black shiny look you could see and then this one is familiar I did one of these for um, the charm swap I put it at the end of one of the charms and I did the same thing I went heavy on the alcohol ink to give it that shiny look and then this is my altered one I came up with, which is that one. And then they all have um, the back is covered, so you don't have to find a real thick piece of foam to put a put them on. And um, you could just use regular piece of uh, tape, double sided tape or glue dot or whatever. And that's from the Graphic 45. That's that one. And then if you notice on this one, I took uh, stickles on the side and put some little stickle dots on the side to give it glitteriness. Now this one's a little bit different. This is the steampunk one. And when I was doing this one I just, I don't know why my mind went to making a charm. I, I guess that would be an embellishment, right? And then the charm is double sided. Let's see if you can see that. And then I bling the side up. And then it's on that side too because I think, you know, with the charm you should do both sides. Because if it flips over you want to have the other side done too. And then I use um, Austrian crystals here and up here. And then there's an Austrian crystal down here. And then this is the tag. The steampunk tag. With some gears up here. And then the back has a the bird with the clock and some gears and then the information and then there's a clock right there again I went heavy on the alcohol inks and that's the clock and this is the other steampunk cap and I went heavy on the alcohol inks again there and I had a lot of fun doing these these are a lot of fun to do gave me some other ideas too and that's my tags I think that's it um I've been making more of these so because it's fun to do I think that's it and ladies uh don't forget to go to the cat condo if you can see that http slash last www.thecatcondo.spruce.com to sign up um, on my blog on my um, website and be entered in to win a big kit um, 
with a bunch of stuff, so graphic 45 paper and stuff like that. Um, the contest is up uh, July 25th. So go sign up. Um, you guys have a good week. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Mm,